All right, the speed of light in a vacuum is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Calculate its speed in miles per hour. So this is a dimensional analysis problem where we will be changing the speed of light from 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second to some number miles per hour. So we're gonna be converting it. So we're starting with, again, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth, and that is meters per second. And we want, in the end, to have miles, so many miles per hour, okay? So before we do our dimensional analysis, before we multiply this by conversion factors to convert our units, we need to know the relationships for those conversions. So up in this top box up here, I need to know that one meter equals how many yards? Well, that is 1.0936 yards. I need to know that. I need to know that one yard equals exactly three feet. I need to know that 5,280 feet is exactly one mile. And then also how many seconds are in a minute? That would be 60. And then how many minutes are in an hour? That would also be 60. So those are all the relationships we're going to use to do this conversion. So first step, again, we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor, by a fraction. Now we're starting with units of meters per second. So we wanna pick one of those units and convert it first. So let's start with meters. Since meters is starting on top to begin, it's going to go on bottom of my first conversion factor. And using my one meter equals so many yards relationship up there, I can convert meters to yards. I plug in my relationship, one meter is 1.0936 yards. And at this point, my meters will cancel out because they are on top and on bottom. So now I have yards per second. So we gotta turn yards into, we can go to feet. So again, yards is on top, so I need that on bottom now. And I need what I can go to, which would be feet on top. One yard is exactly three feet. So at this point, yards would cancel out and I would have feet per second. And now I know the relationship between feet and miles, so feet go on the bottom, miles go on top. 5,280 feet is one mile. So here, feet would cancel and I'm left with miles. So now I just need to get rid of my seconds. So again, we're gonna multiply by conversion factor. Since seconds is starting on the bottom, it's meters per second. To get that to cancel out or convert, I need seconds on top of this conversion factor. And I can go from seconds to minutes. So minutes is on the bottom and one minute is 60 seconds. And now seconds will cancel because it's on the bottom over here and on top over here. So then we have one more conversion to do and that would be now my minutes, which are on the bottom, I need to be on top so I can convert those to hours down here. And using that last relationship, 60 minutes is one hour. And at this point, minutes cancel. And now my units will be miles over hour or miles per hour. So now that we know our units are going to convert to exactly what we need, we can do the math. So in your calculator, you are going to type 2.998 times 10 to the eighth. We're going to multiply by the top of each conversion factor and divide by the bottom. So we're going to multiply by the top of this first conversion factor, which is 1.0936. Now we would divide by the bottom here, but it's just one. We're gonna skip anything that's one because it's not really gonna change our answer. 
So we'll go on to the second conversion factor and we will multiply by three. We'll skip the divide by one, skip the multiply by one and divide by 5,280. Okay, we'll multiply by 60 and then we're gonna again multiply by 60. So plugging all that in and hitting equal should give us right around 6.706 .06 times 10 to the eighth, and that is miles per hour. Now there could be other ways to solve this conversion depending on the different relationships you have. Another example would be right here where we actually use the relationship between kilometers and meters to get rid of meters and then use the relationship between miles and kilometers to get rid of kilometers. So this process was actually one conversion step smaller or shorter, and we still got to the same answer. Okay, there you have it, the speed of light in a vacuum in miles per hour. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.